Hello everyone, Nandrew Williams here for Treasures for Living Ministries. So I am the creator of the Treasures for Living podcast and the CEO of Nandrew Williams Ministries. And um, I'm the coach for Syria Ministries, so where I coach and I train um, women and leaders to fulfill their plans and the, the purposes of God for their lives. Okay, so um, thank you for all your support and your love and your encouragement and, you know, the community that's come around us just to encourage us. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, especially to John Seeger, who has been so faithful. I think you've been our most ardent faithful supporter on uh, social media. I just want to appreciate you and just say that we love you so much. Thank you to you and your family. I love to Pam and of course your daughter. So um, today I just want to share with us a little bit about Job. We've been doing this Bible study with the ladies who are, who are in our community where we meet together on Princesses Connect. And we've been doing this Bible study on the book of Job. We've been talking about Job his journey with God, the person, his character, his nature, his challenges. And um, we've just been discovering lessons from the book of Job. So today, as you watch this, I pray that God blesses you and that God encourages your heart. You know, no matter what you're going through, the book of Job tells us that at the end, God is faithful to restore to us, to bring us to that place that he has destined for us. So I'll start by reading Job chapter one and i'll read from verse one and we'll read about the man called job the bible says in job chapter one i'll read from verse one it says there was a man in the land of Oz whose name was job and that man was blameless so the bible tells us there was a man it tells us that there was a man and it tells us where he lives where he lived in the in the land of Oz, and it tells us his name was job so there was a man he was a man. He was somebody. And then God introduces him to us and tells us that his name was Job. I read Romeo and Juliet in secondary school. And there's a portion of it that says, what is in a name? And there was such a big fight between two families in Romeo and Juliet that two of their children fell in love and they could not be with each other. And they ended up dying and committing suicide, you know, um, we all know the story of Romeo and Juliet, how their love overtook them and everything. Anyway, that's not the point. The point of what I'm trying to say is, what's in a name? So when people call your name, what do they think of? What does your name mean? Because when God introduces us to, to Job here, he says there was a man in the land of Oz whose name was Job. But he doesn't stop there. He now goes to describe who, this person who has this name, he describes the nature, his nature. The Bible says in, in Proverbs 25, he says a good name. He talks about a good name, the importance of a good name. So he said there was a man in the land of Oz whose name was Job, and that man was blameless. He says he was blameless. He says he was upright and one who feared God with reverence and abstained from and turned away from evil because he honored God. You know, recently I'd faced this particular um it was, I think it, I, I don't know if I'd call it so much of a temptation, but I think from where I stood, I could see that it was going to lead me into what would have been a temptation. So I was by the kitchen sink, and I was by the kitchen sink, and the Holy Spirit just spoke to me and he said, "Nandru, you need to stop this now." And I, and for a split second, I want to say, "God, but you know, I'm not. I don't think I'm going to do anything bad." You know, this is not going to lead me down any wrong path. But then, I, I, maybe it was like a, 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 a the snake and an Eve moment. <laughs> so I thought about it and I said, actually, what God is telling, telling me is true. The Bible says that we should flee in, in the book of Thessalonians, that we should flee every appearance of evil. So what might not be evil now, it might look okay. And you might see the evil afar off, or you may not even see it at all. God says, when you see something that might be evil, God says, run away. Because from, for, for some temptations, you can say, no, 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 I'm not going to do this. For other temptations, you would have to escape. You would have to run away. Because maybe in you, you don't have the resilience or the whatever to face that temptation. Look at Because if you keep staring at the fruit, 
you might end up eating the fruit. So anyway, Job, so Job, God says that Job was blameless. He was upright and he was one who feared God with reverence and abstained from and turned away from evil. So Job kept himself away from evil. Job turned away from evil. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter one, it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So I noticed that I become extremely foolish when I stop giving God his place, when I stop listening to him first, when I stop doing what he wants, when I think I am wiser. There are stupid decisions I've made because I thought, oh, well, actually, I use my mind. I think I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this, and then well, I think I'm so smart. And then I end up in trouble. Why? Because I, I have not walked in the fear of God. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So when you have God, God gives you wisdom. He gives you knowledge. He gives you understanding because you fear him. And what does it mean to fear him? It doesn't mean that, oh, you're afraid of him. It means that because you love him so much, you don't want to go down certain path, paths. You don't want to do certain things. You avoid evil. So the Bible tells us about Job that he was blameless. He was upright. He was one who feared God with reverence, abstained from turned away from evil. So anything that would be evil. Of recent, I've just been, I, I've been talking to myself a lot. No, I'm not crazy, you know. But I, the Bible says that the heart of man is deceitful and it is extremely wicked. The heart of man is deceitful. It lies. Okay. See, so it says, it turned away from evil because he did not just turn away from 